Good morning, everyone. Quickly post your doubts on the chat box. Let's solve them first. And then we go to <clears throat> the last two questions of accounting standard two. So please post your doubts. Okay. Let's go to question number 21. Come to question number 21. Now this question you all will solve for me. I'm just reading the question for you. You will solve this question for me. Right, so I'm reading the question. Please pay attention as to this question and then let's see who can solve this question question number 21 is your exam question Dhyandena. it says raw material inventory of a company includes certain material which is purchased at 100 rupees per kg the price of the material is on decline and its replacement cost is 75 per kg it is possible to convert the raw material into a finished product at a conversion cost of 125. Karna kya hai? Calculate the value of inventory and decide whether we should make this product or not. So kya pucha hai kya aisa product humko banana chahiye ya nahi? If, this is not it, it should be if the selling price is rupees 175 and the selling price is rupees 225 so they have asked you two situations should we make the product if a the selling price is 125 if b the selling price is 225 right again i'm reading the question for you aapne koi material khareeda 100 rupees mein ab uski nrv kitni ho gayi hai 75 isi material ko agar aapko convert karna ho final product mein to 125 rupees ka aur kharcha aayega question aap se ye puch rahe hain that please calculate the value of inventory and decide whether we should make this product or not. Right, simple question it is. We have already done this kind of a question. Now I would want two people to solve this question. Let's see who can do that. Okay, on the chat box, Maharshi, can you try this question? Maharshi, can you try this question? Yes or no? Quickly on the chat box. It's a simple question that we did yesterday. So quickly put it on the chat box, please. If you can solve it or not. Kajal, can you solve the first part of the question? Kajal, please put it on the chat box if you can solve the first part of the question. Okay, excellent. Raghav, can you try this question? Raghav. Can you please try this question?
Yes, Raghav, quickly on the chat box. Can you solve the second part of the question? There are two questions, A and B. Right, let's not waste time on this. So quickly put it, put on the chat box, yes or no. Okay, then let's give it to Ishita. Can you solve this question? Ishita, can you solve the second part of the question? Okay, great. Fine. Let's begin with Kajal. Kajal, here you go. Hello, sir. Yes, please go ahead. Uh, now, first uh, selling price is uh, 175. Are you sure? Selling if... price? Yes, okay. Selling price is 175. So first calculate uh, total cost. Okay, my first statement should be? As per AS2, yes. valuation of inventory. Okay. Calculation of cost of inventory. Have they asked you to calculate the cost? No, they've asked you to calculate the value of inventory. Okay. So let's put over here, calculation of value of inventory. Okay, next. First, uh, calculation of total cost. Calculation of total cost. Okay, I'll put that. Calculation of total cost. Yes. Is how much? Purchase yes. cost. Purchase cost. Okay, so you have purchase cost. 100 rupees then plus uh, conversion cost means cost uh, complete cost to complete cost of conversion no problem how much is that 125 125 then it means total cost total cost is how much uh, 225 Total cost is 225. Okay, then. Then selling price. Selling price. Okay, you want me to write that over here? Yes. Selling price. Wha 175. 175. Then. It means incremental cost. Okay, Kajal, tell me, should I put it this way? See what I'm writing. Is this not the correct way to solve this question? You first put the first case that you're solving. It says selling price is rupees 175. 175. Right, after that, we will write some note over here to finalize. First should be your answer, which means this is nothing but what you solved is correct. But that is actually your working note. So let us put over here. Working note. One. Okay, you will have. You will need a proper format. Which is particulars. And then you have amount. In rupees. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. No problem. Yes. Now tell me. My always ask you ask yourself a question. Am I selling at cost, above cost, or below cost? That should be the question. Tell me. Are you selling at cost, above cost, or below cost? Above cost. Are you sure? What's your total cost? Two twenty five. Two twenty five. Right. Are you comfortable with Hindi language? Yes, sir. Okay. Up, up the total cost kitna hai? 225. 225. And how much you have to pay? How much you have to pay? 175. 175. Are you selling more price? Same yes. cost? Same 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 cost? Same
कम कॉस्ट पे कम आई यू श्योर यस सर देन व्हाई डिड यू से हायर प्राइस अर्लियर इट इज 175 राइट द सेलिंग प्राइस और आपका कॉस्ट कितना है 225 225 ओके टेल मी एट कॉस्ट अबव कॉस्ट बिलो कॉस्ट बिलो कॉस्ट ओके व्हेनेवर यू रिकॉर्ड एट बिलो कॉस्ट लेट्स आल्सो पुट ओवर हियर कॉस्ट ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल कितना दिया हुआ है क्वेश्चन में कॉस्ट ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल 100 100 एनआरवी ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल बताइए 75 75 अब बताइए इफ यू आर सेलिंग बिलो कॉस्ट यू शुड रिकॉर्ड एट 100 और 75 75 व्हिच एवर इज लो whichever is lower why whichever is lower because uh, about uh, sorry below cost hai is because we are selling at below cost below cost so let's put that as, tell me if i'm right or wrong as per accounting standard 2 valuation of inventories raw material and other supplies should not should not be written down below cost if the final product in which in which they are to be incorporated are expected to be sold can you complete this statement are expected to be sold at at or above, above. Cost. you agree with me yes sir okay can let's then put in the given case tell me what is happening in the given case we are selling uh, we are selling at uh, uh, below cost below cost okay therefore we recorded at uh, value whatever is lower of raw material will be recorded at what value rupees rupees 75 75 okay very good chalo first part of the question is done ab usi question mein unhone aapse dusra bhi question pucha hai wo aapse aisa puch rahe hai कि एक तो वैल्यू ऑफ वैल्यू ऑफ इन्वेंट्री क्या होनी चाहिए वो हमको मिल गई 75 हमारे केस में दूसरा वो आपसे ही पूछ रहे हैं डिसाइड वेदर यू शुड मेक दिस प्रोडक्ट और नॉट तो बताइए ये प्रोडक्ट हमको बनाना चाहिए शुड वी मेक दिस प्रोडक्ट क्या आप ऐसा प्रोडक्ट बनाएंगे जो आपको जो आपको बनके टू ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपीज में पड़ेगा लेकिन आप वन सेवेंटी फाइव में बेच पाएंगे ऐसा प्रोडक्ट क्या आपको लगता है हमको बनाना चाहिए नो no, सर क्यों नहीं बनाना चाहिए बिकॉज सेलिंग प्राइस इज ग्रेटर Right, so because you will have loss, it is not recommended to make this product. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Also, tell me what is the cost of your final product in this case? Cost of final product. अच्छे से सोच के बताना. आपने ये भी calculate किया था working note में. Cost of final product कितना है? Two twenty five. Two twenty five. Okay, very good. Cost of final product two twenty five है. और वो कितने में sell कर रहे हैं हम case one में? Uh, 175. 175. Okay, tell me. Whichever is lower, 175. Whichever is lower. So the final product will be valued at lower of cost or NRV. That is how much rupees? 175. 175. Okay. Since we are selling below cost. We shall incur loss कितना है बताइए a loss of rupees कितना loss होगा fifty fifty rupees fifty per unit per unit hence it is not recommended to make this product भाई पूछा है ना whether you should make or not yes yes sir to make this product 
Are you clear with this? Yes. Okay, fine. Thank sir, you very much. Yes. Sir, one minute, sir. Is there any cost given to you? Incremental, incremental cost means that as much as your revenue is, the more of your cost is right in the question. Yes. Right in the question. Yes. So, incremental cost is a language in which you talk. So, say for example, I have said that we are going to lose 50 rupees because the selling price is 50 rupees. Yes. Right? Those people are called incremental cost. Compared to your sale price, how much extra cost are you, how much loss will you incur? 50 rupees. Why? Because your cost is 50 rupees more compared to your selling price. Because your cost is 50 rupees more compared to your selling price, this 50 rupees is known as incremental cost. Ziyada cost compared to your selling price. Okay, sir. Right, I hope that is clear to you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Fine, any doubts in the first case? If yes, put it on the chat box. If no, we go to the next one. Any doubts in case one? Okay, perfect. If there are no doubts, let's go to case two. Okay, Ishita, here you go. Yes, sir. In the second case, the selling price is 225. Selling price is 225, okay. Uh, first of all, we will prepare working note one in which we will calculate the total cost. That we have already done. Here it is. Yes, it is 225. Okay. And uh, it is given that we are going to sell at 225. So here okay. in this case, we are selling at cost. Okay. So we will not record the inventory at cost or NRV, whichever is lower. We will record it at cost. So let me put it this way. Your cost of raw material, this will remain the same in the question. Yes. Cost of raw material is 100 and um, NRV is 75. Okay, yes. this statement I have already written once, so no need to write it again. Don't waste yes. your time in the exam. You can straight away begin with this. In the given case, we are selling, tell me, at, at cost, cost, above cost, below cost. At cost. At cost, okay. Therefore, the raw material inventory will be recorded at what price? 100 rupees. At 100 rupees, okay. Let me put that at 100, okay. Then, then the final product. Okay, here and the second question is that uh, should we pro produce the uh, produce the material or not? But okay. here, if there is no gain or no loss, we will wait, not produce. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you also have to tell me what is the value at which you will record the closing stock. Abhi to apne sirf raw material ka bataye, but final product ka to apne bataye hi nahi hai. We will record it at two twenty five. Two twenty five because it is yes. the same, right? Yes. So I I am saying the final product will be recorded at lower of cost or NRV, cost which is how much? Two twenty five. Very good. Then uh, in the given case, as there is no gain or lo no loss because the cost and selling price are same, so it is not advisable to produce. Okay. So since let's put that properly in the given case, we are selling. At cost price. Yes. Hence, there shall be no gain on selling the product. Now, please don't write no gain or loss. If it's loss, then what do you sell? No, sir. So, then you don't have to write gain or loss. Otherwise, that will sense wrong. So, since there is no profit, on, on, there is no gain on selling the product, and the other incremental costs are yet to incur. Your selling and distribution costs will also be done for this product. Yes, sir. Now, you are taking a decision of trading account. Now, you are going to be able to get indirect costs, which will increase your loss ultimately. Are yet to be incurred. It is recommended. Not to make the product. Right, okay. Uh, Ishita, one last question. We have prepared working note one, but we have nowhere mentioned the reference of working note one. Can you help me? Where should I put working note one? 
Uh, you are near the past of raw material. This one? Yes. Okay, so let me put over here. Working note one. Okay, then. Should, then let's I... put it over here also. So that someone understands why we are selling below cost. Okay. In fact, not over here. Put it over here. Okay. In fact, let's also put it over here. The selling price. Selling price into brackets. Case one. How much is case one? Mein? One seventy-five. One seventy-five. Selling price. In case two. Is how much? Two twenty-five. Two twenty-five. Now someone will read your working note and easily understand. Why have we taken this value? Right. Okay. So we are clear in case number one. We will not make the product, but however, we'll record the inventory raw material at what price? One seventy-five because we are selling at cost. In case two, oh, sorry, below cost. In case two, we are selling at cost, so we will record the raw material price at rupees hundred. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Shri. Okay. Any doubts in this? Any doubts in this question? Yes or no? Quickly on the chat box. Yes or no? Are you clear with this? If you have any doubts in this question, please put it on the chat box. If you are clear, I will put it on your group. Please take it down properly. I will put it on your group, and you please take it down properly. properly copy the question do wrote, do write all the points properly prepare proper formats don't use shortcuts okay you all have it on your official whatsapp group Take it down pro properly once you are done. Let me know. Take it down properly. Prepare proper formats. Give proper references of working note one. You will have two more places where you will have to give the reference of working note one. Please give proper references 
of your working note. Take it down properly. Once you're done, please put it on the chat box that you're done so that we can proceed to the last question of this accounting standard question number 21. Sorry, question 21 we just did. I guess it is question 23. Yes, question 23, the last question of the standard. And then you have one theory concept. In fact, a couple of theory concepts that we will look at. One of them is joint cost and byproduct. And then we proceed to a new accounting standard. So please take this down properly. Please make a small change. This is cost of final product, not raw material. Do make that small change.
yesterday the <clears throat> yesterday we we did i guess a couple of questions one of them i could not send to you on your group so that i am send i am sending it right now and in today's question i have just added working note at two places and i have made one correction cost of raw mat it should be cost of final product and not raw material that revised also i am sending it to you so i request you to look at the revised one in case of working note to avoid confusion i will also remove the old one however you still have the new one this is the one which is the latest one i have sent it to you again please have a look at that once you are done please put on the chat box that you are done so that we proceed to the next part please ensure you record or uh, sorry you write the entire solution properly make proper formats prepare proper working notes you will need writing practice for your exam okay if you're done with this great if you're done with this come to the next part let's first understand the theory part come to page number this is given on page number 36 come to page number 36 page number 36 inventory valuation methods which are your preferred methods of inventory valuation the first one is specific identification method so the method that we are doing we first find out the cost uh, of per, of raw material by adding whatever will be included in the cost right so that is known as specific identification method the one that we use where purchase price then refundable tax and duties will be deducted freight will be added other directly attributable cost will be added fixed production overhead will be added is known as specific identification method 
Second, the preferred method is FIFO method. So FIFO method is what you can use as per AS2. Then you have the weighted average cost method. So three methods are preferred. First is specific identification method. Second is first in first out method. And the third one is weighted average method. Ye teen mein se koi bhi ek aap follow kar sakte. Next point dekhiye. Method to be used if the above are not practicable. So if the above are not practically possible to comply with then you can uh, you can follow the standard costing method or the retail inventory method right so you, you can follow the standard costing method or the retail inventory method methods that are disallowed means the methods that you cannot use are lifo and marginal costing method so you cannot ever use the lifo method or the marginal costing method are you getting it these two methods you cannot use so which can you use specific identification fee for weighted average First choice should be this. If you cannot apply this, use standard costing or retail inventory method. Methods that are clearly disallowed are LIFO and marginal costing method. Right, standard costing and retail is secondary. One which you cannot use is LIFO and marginal costing. Right, if you're done with this, come to the next one, which is on page number 39 come to page number 39 what are the disclosure requirements of accounting standard 2 come to page number 39 which says what are the disclosure requirements of accounting standard 2 okay first accounting policies adopted in measuring inventories and the cost formula that you use. Did you use FIFO method? Did you use weighted average or did you use specific identification method that you have to disclose? Along with that, you will also disclose the accounting policies that you have adopted in measuring your inventory. So accounting policies that you adopt in measuring the inventories will also form part of your disclosure requirements. Second, you will not you will not only show closing stock or value of inventory, the total amount. You will have to bifurcate into raw material, finished goods, WIP, spare parts and others. So whatever does not classify into raw material, WIP, uh, finished goods, spare parts will go in others. So of course, koi bhi or type ki inventory ho, that will go in others. This others was again a recent amendment. This others was not there earlier. It has been recently added to accounting standard 2. And also you have to disclose its carrying amount. Matlab, man je total inventory 1 lakh hua. So 20,000 if, if it is of raw material, then you will bifurcate it. Raw material 25. Finished goods 25. WIP 25,000. That is how you will have to bifurcate the entire, uh, entire value of inventory into various heads of classification. Are you getting it? Okay. Let's go to one last con one last concept and one last question. Quickly come to question number 23. Let's solve question number 23, which is given to you on page number 37. Question number 23 on page number 37. Let's understand this question. It says a trader purchase certain articles for rupees 85,000. Kitne ka purchase hai 85,000 ka. He sold some of the articles for rupees 1 lakh 5,000. So what's your per he, what's your selling price 1 lakh 5,000. Kitna quantity hai wo humko nahi pata hai. Please aap dhyan dihye. What's your quantity? You do not know your quantity. Okay, let's proceed then. It says the average percentage of gross margin is 25% on cost. Now you would have studied this in the 10th standard. If something is 25% of the cost, how much of the selling price quickly on the chat box? If something is 25% of cost, how much on the selling price? 20% okay so we can also take it that way 20% of the selling price 25% on cost 20% on the selling price okay next it says 
ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ इन्वेंट्री वॉज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड करना क्या है कैलक्यूलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ इन्वेंट्री पुट योर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट लेट्स कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ इन्वेंट्री इन दिस केस पुट योर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट एज पर अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड टू वैल्यूएशन ऑफ इन्वेंट्री एज पर अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड टू Valuation of inventory. Prepare a proper trading account. Put your opening stock. Your opening stock is fifteen thousand. Prepare systematic formats. You have purchases. How much is your purchase in the question? Eighty-five thousand. On the other hand, you have sales. One lakh five thousand. Take this much down properly. Please prepare systematic formats. Do mention where your amount should be in rupees. right let's put over here tell me on your on your chat box everyone how much is your percentage of profit on the cost how much is your percentage of profit on the cost 25% let's try this calculate your gross profit your total value of opening stock and purchases Is one lakh. Multiply that by twenty-five percent. How much do you get? How much do you get? Twenty-five thousand. Put over there twenty-five thousand. This is something that we calculated. So let's highlight it.
Okay, quickly on the chat box. What's your total of debit side? Total of debit side. Yes, bro, you can also take 20% off sales. 25% on cost I have taken. If you take 20% on sales, it will be one and the same. Your answer will not change. It'll be, it'll, the final answer will still be the same. What's your total of credit side? Total of credit side. One lakh five thousand. Find out the difference. Yes, Raj and Spruha, just wait. I will also solve with your method. So please wait. I will also calculate with your method. So I request you to wait. We will solve it with both the methods. Okay. Your difference comes to how much? 20,000? Okay. Now tell me, how did you get 20,000? Did you take, did you include profit? When you derive 20,000, yes or no? So, much samaj ke batana. Did you include profit, yes or no? Okay. How much profit did you include? On your chat box. How much profit did you include? Twenty-five thousand, perfect. Now, if I change the question and ask you, how much percentage of profit did you include? How much percentage of profit did you include? Twenty-five. Okay, everyone's attention over here. Please pay attention. Jab one twenty-five rupees final selling price hai, including profit. Tab mera closing stock ka including value kitna hai? Twenty thousand. Yes or no? Quickly on the chat box. Yes or no? Jab 125 mera selling price hai, including profit. Tab mera value of stock including profit kitna hai? 20,000. What's your valuation norm? Cost or NRV? Whichever is lower. Mujhe isme lower lena hai. Matlab jab 100 rupees mera cost hoga, tab kitna mera yaha pe value aega? Cross multiply and tell me how much do you get? Calculate. How much do you get? You get 16,000. That's your value of closing stock. 16,000. Method number one where whatever they have given you use only that information right you do not apply your mind for any additional information you use only that information what you will get is one lakh ka hamara purchase tha dekho problem ye hai question mein ki quantity nahi di hui hai kitna aapne sell kiya hai isliye hum total pe 25000 le lete hain so i get 125000 minus 125000 20000 is still my value of closing stock Please remember, someone asked me, we have not sold all the units, I agree with you, but you do not even know how much units do you have. You have only the value of closing stock in rupees. Now, because you have only the value of closing stock in rupees, the problem is that you will have to also find out the value of closing stock in rupees only. You will not get it in quantity. So you think in this way, that 1 lakh ka humne purchase kiya, us pe 25% humko diya hua hai cost pe, to humne calculate kiya 25,000. 1 lakh 25,000 total humara Value hota hai. Uske saamne humne kitna sell kiya? 1 lakh 5,000 ka. Kitna bachas? 20,000. Lekin 20,000 includes profit. Lekin closing stock mein hamesha cost ya NRV, whichever is lower liya jata hai. 
सो वी विल बी थॉट इन दिस वे कि 125 वैल्यू है जब इंक्लूडिंग प्रॉफिट तब हमारा वैल्यू कितना आ रहा है 20000 जब 100 होगा कॉस्ट तो कितना आएगा यू गेट 16000 रुपीस आर यू गेटिंग इट यू गेट हाउ मच रुपीस 16000 राइट लेट मी आल्सो सॉल्व इट विद मेथड नंबर 2 सो दैट सम ऑफ यू हैव डाउट्स दैट विल आल्सो बी क्लैरिफाइड let's solve it with method number 2 in method 2 only this will change now this time you will take 1 lakh 5000 into 20% yes i think spruha akshay and raj had this doubt how much do you get tell me quickly on the chat box 1 lakh 5000 into 20% is how much Twenty one thousand. You have twenty one thousand. Tell me, total of debit side, total of credit side, and difference. Total of debit side is how much? One lakh twenty one thousand. Total of credit side remains one lakh five thousand. Tell me, what's your difference? What is your difference? Sixteen thousand. that's your value of closing stock in thousand how did you get that 1 lakh 21000 minus 1 lakh 05000 in both the methods you are going to get your answer the only difference is if you understand in the exam and if it clicks to you in the exam that if it is 25% on cost it has to be 20% on the selling price then method number 2 is good for you but if you cannot recall in the exam you get confused in the exam then method number 2 is a bit difficult because you will end up making a mistake in that case use the simple method that i have explained to you take whatever is given to you what is given to you they have given to you that 25% is on cost yes of course your trading account will not get tallied your trading account will not get tallied because we have used the other method the method that is that only uses the values given in the question it's okay if it does not get tallied because that is what you do not have to find all you have to think in that case is that my value is 25000 on the on the cost how much will it be on the profit accordingly when you get it on the profit this value will change Are you understanding? मैं फिर से आपको समझा रहा हूँ प्लीज ध्यान दीजिए मेथड नंबर टू आपको सिंपल एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ इफ आई गिव यू दिंपल एग्जाम्पल यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस मेथड नंबर टू हमने हमको कब यूज करना चाहिए आइडियली जब आपको ये नॉलेज है कि ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑन कॉस्ट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑन सेल्स राइट एवरी वन मे नॉट नो दैट राइट पीपल लाइक मी विल नॉट नो दैट आई डू नॉट नो आई एम पथेटिक एट मैथ्स सो फॉर मी मेथड नंबर वन इज गुड method number 1 is ideal why because you don't have to think in that way all you have to do is iska total nikalna hai multiply by 25% value aa gaya balancing figure yahan pe aa gaya ab spruha please samjhiye kyunki mere paas values nahi thi maine isko value leke balancing figure yahan pe dhoonda which means ab main kya karunga agar mujhe uh, trading account pucha jayega is question mein to mujhe dobara recalculate karke isko 21000 karna padega because it is 20% on the selling price लेकिन क्वेश्चन वो नहीं है क्वेश्चन से इतना है क्लोजिंग स्टॉक का वैल्यू कितना है तो क्लोजिंग स्टॉक का वैल्यू यहाँ पे मिल गया फिर आपका ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट फर्स्ट मेथड में टैली होता है या नहीं होता है वो आंसर के लिए रेलेवेंट नहीं है इसलिए आप उसके बाद इसको रिकैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं लेकिन सेकेंड मेथड अगर आप बिल्कुल कॉन्फिडेंट है आपको पता है आप मैथमेटिक्स अच्छे से जानते हैं आपको याद है देन यू कैन यूज मेथड नंबर टू वे यू विल डिरेक्टली टेक दिस वैल्यू एंड योर टोटल विल ऑफकोर्स टैली विच विल बी वन लैख ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड now my simple point to you is that even if you tally the trading account will not make a difference kyunki wo aapse pucha nahi hai aapse final question kya pucha hai what's your value of closing stock so we have to simply write over here value of closing stock is rupees 16000 that's all they have asked you Value of closing stock is rupees sixteen thousand. 
right i hope sprua that now clears your doubt i agree with you that it does not tally but the question is of not tallying the question is of two methods which two methods you can use if you are confident with the first method you use the first method if you are confident with the second method use the second method in both the cases look at the question they are asking you calculate the value of inventory so that's all you have to do calculate the value of inventory are you getting it see this is the method they have used this is the institute solution now they have not prepared a trading account but they have assumed that we will take simply 25% of the cost and then we will derive that margin over here are you getting it also i would like to draw your attention to one important thing the value over here comes to 20000 as per the first method now we are we are reducing this 20000 and recording how much through on your chat box ye 20000 ki jagah hum kitna record kar rahe hain 20000 ki jagah hum kitna record kar rahe hain aaya 20000 kitna difference hai dono ke beech mein how much difference is there between the two 20 and 16 how much difference do you get Four thousand. That four thousand. If you deduct from twenty-five thousand, how much will you get? Twenty-one. So you will think in this way. Jab balancing figure twenty aya. Please understand. Jab balancing figure twenty aya. So I have twenty to liya. No, I have sixteen liya. Four thousand. Jo kam liya. Uska impact yahan pe aayega. This will become how much? Twenty-one thousand. Right. Again, let's not complicate things. The simple point is, if you are comfortable with method one, this is how you derive the answer. If you are comfortable with method two, this is how you derive the answer. The value of the closing stock will remain the same. रही बात उसको tally करने की trading account को तो second case में तो tally हो गई. First case में भी tally होगा क्योंकि आप twenty की जगह sixteen record कर रहे हो. Balancing figure twenty आता है. लेकिन आप sixteen ले रहे हैं. तो four thousand जो कम ले रहे हैं उसका impact आपका four thousand यहाँ पे आएगा ना? Right. Pruha, one more question to you. Please quickly respond on the chat box. Are you reducing your closing stock from twenty to sixteen? Balancing figure to twenty आता है लेकिन आप sixteen record कर रहे हैं. Are you reducing your closing stock? Yes. Okay. When you reduce your closing stock, will your profit increase or reduce? When you reduce your closing stock, will your profit increase or reduce? Reduce. So this profit will also reduce. Yes or no? Twenty five thousand का profit will also reduce. Yes or no? Yes. It will reduce by how much? Four thousand. So you will get. Twenty-one thousand over there. Right. I hope that is now clear, even to Raj and Akshay. Is this absolutely clear to you? Quickly on the chat box, yes or no. Raj and Akshay, you also had the similar doubt. So I hope that is now completely clear to you. If you still have doubts, please ask me. Okay. Excellent. Great. Fine. That's it. All the questions of accounting standard two are done. Let's go to one last concept, which is joint cost and byproduct. After that, we will revise the entire accounting standard quickly, and then we can shift to a new accounting standard. Okay. Please pay attention. We are doing joint cost and byproduct. Joint cost and byproduct. Please pay attention. Let's let me make an easy example for you. Suppose this is your machinery. Suppose this is your machinery. This is your input of raw material. and this is your output of raw material and this is what machinery ab yahan se material input karte hain aur dusri taraf se you have output of material ab man man lijiye aap plastic sheet i'm sure every one of you has seen a spiral bound book spiral bound book has a plastic sheet at the first page and at the last page so that plastic sheet is always available at a size of 8 by 4 but you need to cut it at the size of 8 by 4 so this is a machine that is a cutting machine ye kya hai aapki machine which cuts 
प्लास्टिक ये मशीन क्या करता है आपके लिए प्लास्टिक कटिंग करता है तो प्लास्टिक कटिंग करने का ये मशीन है आपके पास यहां से आप प्लास्टिक डालोगे और यहां से आपके पास आउटपुट आएगा दिस इज योर आउटपुट नाउ प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट हैपेंस इज जब हम प्लास्टिक शीट डालते हैं ध्यान से समझना जब हम प्लास्टिक शीट डालते हैं तब हम पूरी प्लास्टिक शीट डालते हैं यहां से वो कटता है लेकिन प्लास्टिक शीट की एजेस या साइड का पोर्शन वेस्टेज निकलता है दैट वेस्टेज इज आल्सो कमिंग आउट व्हिच मींस यू वांटेड व्हाट देखो मैं यहां पे बनाता हूं ध्यान देना you wanted only one product and that one product is your final product that is plastic you wanted only one product that is a4 size plastic wo a4 size plastic nikalta hai ek taraf se aur dusri taraf se kya nikalta hai wastage are you getting it dhyan dena aapne raw material input kiya wahan se final product output mein nikalta hai aap isko chahte the right जो आप चाहते थे वो ग्रीन कलर है दिस इज वॉट यू वॉन्टेड लेकिन उसके साथ वेस्टेज भी निकल गया दैट इज रेड कलर यू डिड नॉट वॉन्ट मगर वेस्टेज निकल गया अब क्योंकि वेस्टेज निकल गया आपने कहीं से ऐसा पता किया कि क्या इस वेस्टेज को बेच सकते हैं तो आपको पता चला कि इट इज सेलेबल राइट इट इज वॉट सेलेबल हम वेस्टेज को भी बेच सकते हैं क्यों क्योंकि प्लास्टिक के वेस्टेज से ही स्पायरल बाइंड की रिंग बनती है जिससे आप स्पायरल जिससे आप बुक को पूरा बाइंड करते हैं वो रिंग जो है वो भी इसी से बनती है इसी प्लास्टिक से बनती है तो आपने ऐसा किया आपने रॉ मटेरियल डाला प्लास्टिक शीट बड़ी शीट एट एट फीट लेंथ फोर फीट वेथ की शीट आपने मशीन में डाली किस उम्मीद से कि ए साइज का कटेगा वो तो कटा कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं हुआ ये रहा वो तो आपका कटा लेकिन उसके साथ क्या हुआ वेस्टेज भी निकला बहुत सारे साइड के टुकड़े वेस्टेज निकले अब ये जो साइड के टुकड़े आपके वेस्टेज निकले हैं ये साइड के टुकड़े आपको पता चला ये हम बेच सकते हैं जेरोक्स वालों को वो लोग इसका स्पायरल बाइंडिंग का रिंग बनाएंगे और उन लोग को काम आएगा तो आपने उनको बेचा नाउ द प्रॉब्लम इज प्लीज पे अटेंशन वॉट एवर कॉस्ट इज इनकर्ड ओवर ईयर इज नोन एज कॉमन कॉस्ट वट एवर कॉस्ट इज इनकर्ड ओवर योर इज नोन एज वॉट योर कॉमन कॉस्ट इधर जो भी होता है वो कॉमन कॉस्ट होता है और ये जो पॉइंट है दिस पॉइंट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट आई एम पुटिंग मार्क ओवर योर दिस पॉइंट इज पॉइंट ऑफ स्प्लिटिंग इस पॉइंट से क्या होता है एक प्रोडक्ट दो हिस्सों में बट जाता है एक मेन प्रोडक्ट और दूसरा है बाय प्रोडक्ट सो दिस इज नोन एज द मेन प्रोडक्ट एंड दिस इज नोन एज द बाय प्रोडक्ट आर यू गेटिंग इट मेन प्रोडक्ट और बाय प्रोडक्ट मैं फिर से समझाता हूं आप मशीन में रॉ मटेरियल इनपुट डालते हैं आपको चाहिए ए फोर के छोटे छोटे पीसेस कटे इसके लिए आपने मैन्युफैक्चरिंग किया है वो तो निकलता है उसको हम क्या कहते हैं मेन प्रोडक्ट दैट इज नोन एज योर मेन प्रोडक्ट उसके अलावा उसके साथ क्या होता है कुछ वेस्टेज भी निकलता है जो हमको पता चलता है कि ये वेस्टेज को हम आसानी से बेच सकते हैं हमको पैसे मिलेंगे इस स्क्रैप के भी उस आप वो बनाना नहीं चाहते लेकिन ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस वो बन जाता है इसलिए आप उसको क्या कहते हैं बाय प्रोडक्ट जितना भी कॉस्ट यहाँ पे खर्च हुआ है दोनों मशीन में वो कॉस्ट इज नोन एज Your common cost, जो भी जो भी इधर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉस्ट होता है वो कॉमन कॉस्ट खर्चा किया कॉमन कॉस्ट की वजह से पॉइंट ऑफ स्प्लिटिंग से दो प्रोडक्ट निकलते हैं एक खर्चा करते हैं लेकिन दो प्रोडक्ट निकलते हैं मेन प्रोडक्ट एंड द सेकेंड वन इज बाय प्रोडक्ट एंड द बाय प्रोडक्ट इज ऑल्सो सेलेबल नाउ द नाउ द रूल इज राइट इतना कंसेप्ट समझ में आया तो द रूल इज दैट बाय प्रोडक्ट आई एम रिपीटिंग बाय प्रोडक्ट का जो भी सेलिंग प्राइस है वो मेन प्रोडक्ट में से माइनस कर देने का क्यों मैचिंग कॉस्ट विद रेवेन्यू कंसेप्ट आपने एक खर्चा किया और दो प्रोडक्ट बनाया क्योंकि आपने एक खर्चा किया और दो प्रोडक्ट बनाया आप जितना भी सेलिंग प्राइस है वो मेन प्रोडक्ट की कॉस्ट से एडजस्ट कर सकते आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग टिल द पॉइंट ऑफ स्प्लिटिंग टिल दिस पॉइंट ऑफ स्प्लिटिंग यू इनकर कॉमन कॉस्ट आफ्टर द पॉइंट ऑफ स्प्लिटिंग यू हैव टू सेपरेट कॉस्ट राइट विद दिस बेज लेट्स कम टू This statement ध्यान देना इन केस ऑफ ज्वाइंट प्रोडक्ट कॉमन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉस्ट 
ये रहा मेरा कॉमन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉस्ट कॉमन कॉस्ट इज इनकर टिल द स्टेज ऑफ स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ द जॉइंट प्रोडक्ट ये आपने स्प्लिट किया ये वाला आपका स्प्लिटिंग पॉइंट ये स्प्लिटिंग पॉइंट तक जो भी खर्चा होता है उसको हम क्या कहते हैं कॉमन कॉस्ट कहते हैं क्या कहते हैं हम कॉमन कॉस्ट वट एवर कॉस्ट इज इनकर टिल द पॉइंट ऑफ स्प्लिटिंग इज नोन एज योर कॉमन कॉस्ट एट द पॉइंट ऑफ स्प्लिटिंग यू विल अपोर्शन कॉमन कॉस्ट टू बी अपोर्शन टू द ज्वाइंट कॉस्ट इन द रेशियो ऑफ दियर सेल्स वैल्यू जितना भी कॉमन कॉस्ट हुआ है वो हम मेन प्रोडक्ट और बाय प्रोडक्ट में बेच देंगे सॉरी डिवाइड कर देंगे इन द वैल्यू ऑफ दियर सेल्स आई एम राइटिंग ओवर इन द रेशियो ऑफ सेल्स लेट्स टेक वन एग्जाम्पल सो दैट इट इट बिकम्स वेरी क्लियर टू यू सपोज हमारा कॉमन कॉस्ट लेट्स टेक अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल हमारा कॉमन कॉस्ट है सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज राइट सेलिंग वैल्यू ऑफ मेन प्रोडक्ट इज हाउ मच से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन थाउजेंड एंड द सेलिंग वैल्यू ऑफ बाई प्रोडक्ट selling value of by product say for example is 100 your common cost is how much 600 ab humko kya karna hai ye jo common cost hai 600 usko main product aur by product mein baant dena hai divide karna hai in the ratio of sales can you tell me what's the ratio of sales someone on the chat box quickly can you tell me what's the ratio of sales in this question what's your selling ratio in this question you get 2 is to 1 ओके डिवाइड सिक्स हंड्रेड इंटू टू इज टू वन डिवाइड सिक्स हंड्रेड इंटू टू इज टू वन हाउ मच विल यू गेट फोर हंड्रेड एंड टू हंड्रेड आई यू गेटिंग इट दिस इज हाउ यू विल डिवाइड द कॉमन कॉस्ट इन दीज टू दिस इज हाउ यू विल डिवाइड द कॉमन कॉस्ट इन टू द मेन प्रोडक्ट एंड द बाई प्रोडक्ट आगे बढ़ते हैं फिर से पढ़ रहा हूं ध्यान देना इन केस ऑफ ज्वाइंट प्रोडक्ट common manufacturing cost is incurred till the stage of splitting of joint products at the point of splitting common cost will be apportioned to the joint product in the ratio of their sales value here i'm going to divide kar diya in the ratio of the sales value right aage badhte hain by product dhyan dena in case of by product the nrv of the by product is deducted from the cost of the main product and remaining cost is then allocated to the main product okay let's take what is the nrv say for example is how much 500 the nrv is 500 which will be deducted from the cost allocated to the main product are you getting it matlab jitna bhi nrv ka value aayega wo hum kya karenge main product ke cost se minus kar denge kyun kyunki hum matching cost to revenue concept follow karte hain ek kharcha kiya usse samne wala humko cost mila are you getting it what i'm trying to say okay now please pay attention how will you do it quickly on the chat box how much is your final nrv on the by product on your chat box nrv nrv mein net hamare hath mein kitna bachta hai nrv mein net hamare hath mein kitna kitna bachta hai 300 okay everyone agrees nrv mein net hamare paas 300 bachta hai dekho aage padhta hu main fir se in case of by product the nrv is deducted from the cost of the main product so this nrv 300 you will deduct from 400 so 400 minus 300 your net cost will be 100 rupees of the main product ab ye pure concept se ye pata chalta hai humko ki agar aapka wastage bhi sellable hai to aapka main product ka cost kam ho jata hai kyunki utni aapki revenue badh jati hai so a good organization will be one a good organization will be one which knows how to treat बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑल्सो बिकॉज बाय प्रोडक्ट तो बनने ही वाला है आप रोक नहीं सकते कोई भी प्रोसेस है उसमें से वेस्टेज तो निकल नहीं वाला है क्वेश्चन ये है क्या आप वेस्टेज से भी रेवेन्यू अर्न कर सकते हैं अगर आप वेस्टेज से भी रेवेन्यू कमा सकते हैं तो उतना मार्जिनली आपका कॉस्ट रिड्यूस हो जाए आई यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट इज इट इज एज सिंपल एज इट इज दैट वेन यू बाय मूवी टिकट ऑनलाइन यू हैव टू पे कन्वीनियंस चार्ज बट द क्वेश्चन इज कैन यू सर्च for good options of discount vouchers if you have good options of discount vouchers what will happen is automatically that discount will adjust against the convenience fee that you pay for online purchases are you getting it jaise online ticket purchase karne pe convenience fee pay karni padegi 
वैसे जब भी आप मैन्युफैक्चरिंग करते हो वेस्टेज तो निकलेगा ही वहां पे कन्वीनियंस फी का खर्चा हो रहा है यहाँ पे वेस्टेज का खर्चा हो रहा है लेकिन अगर आप वहां पे कैशबैक ले सकते हो तो आपका लॉस ऑटोमेटिकली कम हो जाता है खर्चा कम हो जाता है वैसे ही अगर आप यहाँ पे कैसे भी करके वेस्टेज बेचने का रास्ता निकाल लेते हो तो आपका कॉस्ट ऑटोमेटिकली कम हो जाता है आई यू गेटिंग इट यू डू नॉट हैव एनी प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस ऑल यू हैव इज दीज टू पैराग्राफ इन द स्टडी मटीरियल विच I have also explained to you with a practical example, right? So quickly on the chat box, are you all clear with this? Are you all clear with this? Quickly on the chat box, if you have any doubts, please ask me. Tell me, are you all clear on the chat box? I want everyone to reply. So please tell me, are you clear on the regarding this? okay fine if you are clear with this i think everything is covered and we are done with the entire accounting standard 2 come to the last page of this accounting standard let's try and revise the entire standard in one go come to page number 40 right i will revise the entire accounting standard for you please pay attention if i miss out something or if i make mistakes correct me immediately so for that you will have to pay attention so i request everyone to pay attention let's revise the entire accounting standard accounting standard 2 valuation of inventory okay why do you need a standard on inventory you need a standard on inventory you need a standard on inventory because one inventory affects two things your profitability as well as the financial position so that is why it is important to regulate the inventory and for that for that we need accounting standard 2 what is the objective of accounting standard 2 there are two objectives the first one is it will provide it will lay down principles for computation of value of inventory second it will lay down the the disclosure requirements for your accounting uh, for your accounting standard 2 that is valuation of inventory so disclosure requirements and it will lay down the principles for computing value of inventory next applicability non applicability this accounting standard is not applicable to four things it is applicable to everyone except four first wip arising in the course of construction contracts and directly related service contracts wip in the course of service providers uh, then you have debentures shares and uh, other financial instruments held as stock in trade and then you have producers inventory of livestock agriculture mineral oil ores and gases to the extent they are measured at nrv why are they measured at nrv as per the best practices in those industries what is the meaning of inventory inventory are your assets to be recorded on the asset side so inventories are assets which are in the form of finished goods raw material wib or spares and consumables if there is one spare which can be used only in connection with one asset accounting standard 10 if you have one spare that can be used commonly with more than one asset then it is treated as per accounting standard 2 as per the expert advisory committee of the accounting of accounting standard board uh, containers and empties will be considered as your inventory then we did valuation norm valuation norm says you will always take cost or nrv whichever is lower why do we take that because you cannot record the inventory at the value greater than what will be realizable from that what is the meaning of cost then cost then we calculated how do you calculate cost cost will include the purchase price non refundable taxes and duties freight and other similar items if your inventory is a qualifying asset within the meaning of as 16 then uh, the interest cost will also be added in that case then we did uh, cost of purchase will exclude refundable taxes and duties freight discount rebate duty drawback and other similar items so that also we deducted then we saw cost of conversion when you convert raw material into final product you have direct labor variable production overheads and fixed production overheads then we understood that one very important table that fixed production overheads will always be recorded using the normal capacity of production what is the meaning of normal capacity of production it means the estimated number of units that can be manufactured taking into account planned level uh, loss of units due to planned level of maintenance however this is taken under normal circumstances and not abnormal circumstances such as overtime so that is your meaning of fixed production overheads if fixed production if your actual capacity is equal to the normal capacity if your actual capacity is equal to the normal capacity 
in that case you have correctly produced your fixed production overhead recovery rate will be a uh, fixed production overhead divided by normal capacity of production if your actual capacity is less than the normal capacity then it is your problem you will still divide by normal capacity of production extra cost will be treated as a period cost and will go to the profit and loss account after that if your actual capacity is greater than the normal capacity in this you will always take the actual capacity and your overhead recovery rate will be suitably reduced which will always ensure that your inventories are never valued above the actual expenditure that you have so your fixed production overheads uh, the actual expenditure will never be exceeded next we did variable uh, production overheads they will always be treated as an as and when incurred uh, so variable production overheads are always directly related to the quantity that you produce after that we did normal abnormal loss so the accounting standard board divided the wastage into normal and abnormal loss whatever normal loss you are having that normal loss will be uh, will be allocated to be charged to the cost of manufacture any extra cost which is our abnormal loss which is your problem it is your period cost and will be charged to the profit and loss account right we did a lot of questions on that after that we did one concept recently which is joint cost and by product any common cost incurred to uh, manufacture a product and in that product you have the main product and the by product then the common cost will be allocated to the main product and the by product in the ratio of their sales value the nrv of the by product will then be deducted from the cost of the main product after that we saw that what will cost exclude so we've already seen that or uh, sorry what will be included we've already seen that all in all the cost necessary to bring the inventory to its present location and condition will be included if your inventory is a qualifying asset interest cost will also be included and if you have any kind of amortization which helps you in producing inventory then that amortization per unit will also be added right after that you have exclusions we have already seen abnormal losses will never be included refundable taxes will never be included selling and distribution costs will never be included and administrative overheads will also never be included after that we understood the next concept which is nrv how do you calculate nrv estimated selling price minus estimated further cost of completion and minus cost necessary to make the sale what you will get is nrv now that you have cost and nrv you will select whichever is lower of the two then we did key consideration which says raw material and other supplies will not be written down below cost if the final product in which they are to be incorporated is expected to be sold at or above cost right so that key consideration we also saw a lot of questions and that is also a very important concept then you have inventory valuation methods which are the methods of inventory that are included you are allowed the specific identification method you are allowed the fifo method and you are also allowed the weighted average method if these methods by chance are not not applicable or you are not able to use them or they are not practicable in that case you will use the standard costing method or the retail inventory method however you can never use the marginal costing method and the lifo method right and finally we saw disclosure requirements what is the cost formula that you are using needs to be disclosed and what is the accounting policy for inventory that is also to be also to be recorded you will also you will also classify the entire inventory into raw material wip finished goods and others sorry spare parts and others so this is how you will be classifying your value of inventory right that brings you to the end of entire accounting standard 2 quickly on the chat box everyone are you clear with entire as2 i want everyone on the chat box are you absolutely clear with accounting standard 2 very important accounting standard and and we have done it from scratch again from the first statement we have done it again so those who have already attended earlier would have, i am sure you will take the benefit of this that we have done it twice so akshay aman aksa bhavin dipesh gang uh, tulsi harshit ishika ishita kajal khushi maharshi manav om pavan pushti raghav raj rohan sami shifa shreyas Shruti, Simran, Spruha, Shrusti, and Yash. Are you absolutely clear with whatever we have done? Okay, great. 
Fine. Before I go to the next accounting standard, I have one doubt. Let me first clarify that doubt. Uh, this doubt is. Let me just find it. Okay. It says in question number eight. Why did we add interest cost? Is it a qualifying asset? Okay. First, let me look at question number eight. Let me look at question number eight. Okay, question number eight. It says the company has paid for delay in cotton clearing charges. The company has incurred such cost. Okay, I know this question. Now, the first thing that I want to tell you is let me see whose doubt it is. Okay, uh, Sami, I guess it is your doubt. So please understand, we have not added interest cost. Deko kya likha hua hai? The company now will not include it. Pehle company include karti thi. Kyu karti thi? Wo nahi bola hai. Par humko ab se usko exclude karna hai. Yera. X Limited has decided to exclude such charges. So, we haven't included it in the first place. Right? So, quickly tell me on the chat box. Question number 8. We have not included such cost. Right? So, I think you have made a mistake in reading the question. So, I hope that is now clear to you. We have not included any such cost. Right, Sami? I hope that first part, your first doubt, you have three doubts. Let me solve them line by line. I'm, I show, I, are you sure your first doubt is now clear? Yes or no? Okay, then what's your doubt? We have not included. We have not included interest cost. We have included it. You see, we are excluding it. The company was including it today. Now, according to AS2, we should exclude it. That's why we are excluding it. So, first of all, we have not added it. In the question, they are saying that the company was including it today. Why did they do it? They were wrong to include it. Now, they are wrong to realize it and now they want to exclude it. So, what should we do? We should exclude it. So, then we should exclude it. So, please understand you are not including it. Second, your question is, I think you have made a mistake in reading the question. You have written duty drawback. Second, your question is, I think you have written duty drawback. Duty is drawback question mark. So, are you trying to ask me the meaning of duty drawback? Are you trying to ask me, okay, what duty drawback is? I think I've explained this to you earlier also. I'll again repeat it for you. Duty drawback means you get refund when you do export. So, what happened before? You took the first refund and then you export it. Now, once you took the refund, you can do that. You can't 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 do that. You पे करने के बाद आप एक्सपोर्ट करोगे और एक्सपोर्ट करने के सारे डॉक्यूमेंट्स बिल ऑफ लेडिंग और ये सब आप लाके गवर्नमेंट को दिखाओगे अगर गवर्नमेंट सेटिस्फाइड है कि आपने ढंग से एक्सपोर्ट किया है तो वो आपको आपका पे किया हुआ टैक्स रिफंड कर देगी विच इज नोन एज ड्यूटी ड्रॉबैक नाउ दिस ड्यूटी ड्रॉबैक इज अगेन रिफंडेबल टैक्स एंड ड्यूटी एंड दैट इज वाई इट इज इन दी एक्सक्लूजन लिस्ट राइट आई यू क्लियर विद दैट Yes or no? Are you clear with that? Okay, perfect. Come to the last question. I think you have one more question which says, higher the value of closing stock, higher is the profit. How? So, so of course, if you have, suppose if you have your profit and loss account, your purchase is 100, your sales is 200. Okay, Sami, on the chat box. Oh, and your, say for example, your closing stock is 50. Quickly on the chat box, what's your gross profit? What's your gross profit? Quickly on the chat box. What's your gross profit? My question is that if you have 100 rupees as your purchase, 200 rupees as your sales and 50 rupees as your closing stock, what's your profit? GP kitna hai ga? 150? Okay. चलो इसको change कर देते हैं 100. अब GP कितना आएगा? अब आपका gross profit कितना आएगा?
if i make closing stock 100 what's your gross profit now 200 okay tell me did we increase the closing stock from 50 to 100 yes or no did we increase yes did your profit increase from 150 to 200 of course yes right so now i hope that is clear that Okay. Any more doubts? Any more doubts? Fine, I think this much is sufficient for today. Uh, I think we are done with completely with accounting standard two. Now, if you look at your pending accounting standards, let's just let's just get that clear. Uh, you are still to be uh, you are still to do accounting standard ten, accounting standard eleven. Then you have accounting standard. 24 <coughs> sorry and 26 am i right ye char accounting standard hi hamare baaki hai if i'm not wrong 10 11 no i think 22 is also left panch accounting standard baaki hai 10 11 24 26 22 yes or no please confirm okay accounting standard 20 is also there right Okay, yes, I have marked that 20. So you have finally 10, 11, 20, 22, 24, 26. Is this final list okay? Okay, now today is Tuesday. I think you have my lecture only the next two days, which is Wednesday and Thursday. Today is Tuesday, yes, so Wednesday and Thursday. Then for the rest of the week, you do not have my lecture. You have some other faculty day. So what we do is we tomorrow take up AS24 that we will be able to finish tomorrow. I will send you the, the material for that today itself so that you can do it so that you can have it with you beforehand. We will do AS24 tomorrow, which we will be able to finish off. Then what we do is. 10 will take time, 11 will take time, 20 of course will take time, 22 I want to discuss with you that I'll do at the end. We will after that begin with 26 and we will try that tomorrow and day after tomorrow we finish off 26. Of course we will go very slow, we will understand each and every concept. But if not day after tomorrow, at least in the coming next two lectures after that we will be able to finish off. So let's now target 24 and 26. 24, okay Sunday I have a lecture, okay so Probably in this week, I will be able to finish off. So 24, we begin tomorrow, then we do 26. Now, please tell me, are, are you are you being taught income tax? Income tax, padha rahe aapko koi? yes or no? Income tax, padha hai aapko kisi ne? yes or no? No, okay. What about PGBP? Have you been taught PGBP? You have a chapter called PGBP. Padai aapko? Okay. So what we'll do is accounting standard 22 is directly related to your PGBP. What I what I recommend is we do standard kar lete hai except 22. Jab hamara pura syllabus ho jayega aur sirf 22 hi bachega. Aur aapka PGBP baaki hoga to koi baat nahi. Thoda PGBP mein sikha dunga. Jitna bhi thoda baat mujhe aata hai. Of course, you have a proper faculty who will explain the entire concept to you. But still, I will teach you a little bit more. I will teach you a little bit more. So that you can easily understand this entire concept of accounting standard 22. Okay. One more thing. <clears throat> so one thing is clear. We will do AS24 tomorrow and then we go to AS26. And then we see how it progresses. AS22 we will do at the end. 
in the meantime if you happen to begin pgbp just let me know please don't tell i am repeating please don't tell the faculty to begin pgbp i am not saying ki aapko padhana chalu kar de koi baat nahi i am sure sanket sir and pushpendra sir are perfectly managing it aap sirf shuru hoga to mujhe bataiye agar nahi shuru hota to kisi ko kuch batane ki zarurat nahi it's okay if even without you understanding pgbp i can explain the entire accounting standard 22 to you so please don't emphasize to start it right i am not telling you to start i am again repeating please understand everyone i am not telling you to start pgbp don't do that जो आपका सिलेबस चल रहा है वैसा चलने दो अगर हमारा सिर्फ 22 बचता है तो मैं आपको पीजीबीपी सिखा दूंगा जितना एस ट्वेंटी में काम आएगा राइट क्विकली ऑन द चैट बॉक्स आई होप दैट इज क्लियर टू एवरीवन आई होप दैट इज क्लियर टू एवरीवन यस और नो राइट ओके आई ओके टुडे आफ्टर द लेक्चर दोज हु ज्वाइंड इन after i finished accounting standard 9 please put it to me on my personal message that as 9 is left to be done so that i come to know how many students are there i think you have done this earlier but i request you to do it once again please put it on my personal message ke aap mein se kiska accounting standard 2 uh, sorry accounting standard 9 baki hai right fine thank you so much for attending and now i'll see you tomorrow with accounting standard 24 remember you have a test today evening sanket sir will share the material with you and accordingly appear for the test finish it on time thank you for attending i'll now see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock